Learning about the Blue Zones during the fellowship in Arizona was probably one of the most life-changing things that I've ever learned. In the last video, I bored you to death with all of my qualifications, and there was a reason for doing that. I did that because I wanted you to know that even though I rarely miss days in college, I've done a lot of study in traditional medicine, in conventional medicine, and I never heard of the Blue Zones. I never learned any of these techniques. And so I just think that this is something that we should all know because it's one of the things that can make a huge, huge difference to our lives, to our happiness, to our lifespan, to the health in our communities. So welcome to the Blue Zones. So this was a project that was undertaken by National Geographic and the National Institutes for Health in the USA. Now the NIH in the USA are the people that we very much look up to because they're federally mandated to conduct really high level research in the US. I had the good fortune to spend a summer doing an internship at the NIH and it really is the very cream of the cream that get to uh, work long term in the NIH. So a collaboration between NIH and National Geographic already is going to tell us that it's going to have a great level of professionalism and that we really need to pay attention to the results. So the focus of the Blue Zone project was to ask a very, very simple question. And the question was, who are the people in the world who live the longest, healthiest, happiest lives? So they looked at birth and death registries throughout the world and identified a couple of key places where people typically live to be over 100 years old. But they not only live to be over 100 years old, they are very healthy at over 100 years. They are participating in the community. They might still be farming. They're actively involved in their extended families. So what NIH and National Geographic thought was, well, look, if we want to figure out the secrets to biohacking or living a really long, healthy, happy life, shouldn't we just ask the people who have already mastered it? Are they not the people we should ask? So the first idea was to figure out who these people were and where they might live. 